Hey everybody, this is Tim with Silverleaf Electronics and this is setting up your Winnebago Control App Part 2 getting logged into your cloud account. Now I'm going to be doing this on my laptop because I'm able to record the screen. I can't do that on a cell phone but all of the same steps can be done on your cell phone or tablet just as easily. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create an account and we'll do that by going to rosycoreservices.com I've got the URL on the screen here. Notice it's, it's R-O-Z-I-E and down here we'll click on this link to create an account I was going to send a verification code to my email. I'll enter that in the sign up screen and then it takes me back to the login here. Now once you've created your account on Rosicore Services and you're logged into your account, you'll probably see a message like this, unable to find a matching registered device on your account. That's because we haven't actually connected an RV to your account. So we have to go through that extra step, otherwise you've got this account that just it doesn't know what it's trying to control. So what you'll want to do from this point is in your app, in the upper right corner, there's a menu and one of the options there is settings. So you need to go to the admin screen here and you can also do this from a laptop. The way that you're going to do it from a laptop is by entering the IP address of your LR125 which you can find from your touch panel. I'll show you that later but for right now let's just assume that we're going to do, that, do this from your cell phone. And once you're on the settings screen, you're going to be seeing the same things that I'm seeing here. So once you're in the settings menu, you'll find live cloud configuration, and you'll see a button that says register my device. There's also a window here that says transfer registration token. Don't worry about that for now. We'll see how, what that's used for in just a second. So we'll click on register my device. And if you haven't already logged into your account, you'll need to do that now. Once you log in, you'll see a message that says your device is registered, your registration token is, and then this big alphanumeric uh, phrase here. All you need to do at this point is click the return button. You don't need to copy that, uh, that token. It's already copied for you. So just click on the return button, and then you'll see in this window below, there it is, there's that token. You click submit, and you're done. So now your account has been associated with this RV. Now I mentioned I was going to show you how to connect to this system using your laptop. Here's how you'll do it. First of all, you need to go to the settings menu. And I apologize if there's any glare on here. The uh, protective film is still on this screen. Go to the settings menu and you'll see tablet Wi-Fi settings. And right there is the Wi-Fi name and password. And here's our IP address. So the IP address in this case was 10.11.12.180. So in your browser window on your laptop, you would just type in 10.11.12.180 slash admin. And that gets you to all of those, uh, to the, the settings menu so that you can uh, register your device. So now that I'm connected to my cloud account, I have my phone connected to an outside Wi-Fi network. I'm not directly connected to this RV. So let's test this. I'm going to turn the hall light on and off and you can watch on the on this monitor. And there it goes. So I now have far field control over my RV. So now I'm going to try a near field connection. I've connected my phone to the Wi-Fi network here, this this WineGuard router that's installed in this RV, and I try to open the app and it says I'll try to get that in the shot here. It says please pair device with HMS. Well, that's because there's something called whitelisting built into this. In the event that you have other people around with access to your Wi-Fi network, this prevents people from controlling your RV who shouldn't be controlling your RV. So first, we have to go in and pair a device to give it permission to use this. So we'll go into the settings menu, into tablet Wi-Fi settings, and on the first screen you'll see connected devices. Hit that button and you'll see pairing status. Hit the pair button next to it. That's going to prompt you to enter a four digit access code. It can be any number you want, so I'm going to enter 1234 and hit accept. And now on my cell phone screen, you'll see this keypad just popped up. I'm going to enter that code 1234. And then you'll see here a, a new device showed up on the list. So my phone has now been paired with this system. It's been given permission to control this RV. So now let's test this. 
I'm going to go back to the light screen. We're going to turn on, let's go back to the hall light again. We're going to turn the hall light uh, off. And we're going to turn the hall light off. And we'll see the icon change there. The light turned off. We'll turn it back on. And so now we have control both from near field and far field. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to use your Winnebago QR code for more useful information and how-to videos.